Hello Year 2. Now you've listened to the story of Jonah and the Whale, I'd like you to think about what this story tells us. I want you to think, what kind of person was Jonah at the start of the story? We know that he was a prophet, and a prophet is someone who is a good friend to God. But at the start of this story, was Jonah such a good friend? Did he listen to God? Think back to some of the other people that we have learnt about in our RE lessons, Noah and Abraham. They were good friends to God and they listened. They did what God said. Think about the words that we've used to, to describe them. Words like obedient, trusting, faithful. Could we say that about Jonah at the start of our story? I'm not sure that we could. Jonah definitely didn't make a good choice. When he was on the boat, there was a storm. Who do you think sent the storm? And what do you think the storm was sent for? I think it might be that God knew exactly where Jonah was and that the storm was sent by God. That's certainly what the other people on the boat thought because they threw him overboard and he was swallowed by the whale. But that gave Jonah time to think. He had time to think about what he'd done and to say sorry. When he was in the whale, Jonah prayed. He said sorry. And of course, God listened. And God saved Jonah. And when Jonah was back on dry land, he changed his ways and he did what God asked. He became faithful and he became obedient. He was God's friend again. He went to Nineveh and he taught the people there all about God and they too changed. So when we think about what this story teaches us, we need to think of two things. Can we run away from God? Can we hide from him? Think about where God is. God is everywhere. So is it possible to hide from God? I'm not sure it is. But what happens if we say sorry when we've made a bad choice and we change our ways? Will we be forgiven? I think we will. All depends on us changing our ways. Do you remember we say in school that sometimes sorry is an easy word to say and a hard word to mean? Did Jonah mean it when he said sorry? Of course he did. He changed and he did what God had said. In a moment I'm going to ask you to complete the sheet. Have a look at the questions. You should be able to answer all of them. First one is easy. What are the key events in the story? You should be able to work out what those are, the main things that happened. Then think about what Jonah was like at the start of the story. We've already talked about that. And then think about how he changed and why. You might want to use some of those words that we've used um, about our other characters in the right place. And then think about what this story teaches us. We've just talked about that one, so I'm hoping I have some brilliant answers. Don't forget, I need to see your answers in full sentences with capital letters and full stops. You can check your spelling by using the word bank. This is our word bank. And then don't forget to send me your work at our new class email address. I can't wait to see what you do. Thank you, year two. Bye.